What's up guys, Noah from Template FC here and today I'm going to be showing you how to use the Action Full Kit football slash soccer jersey template mock-up. Um, so this, these mock-ups actually come together in this pack for $26 um, and you actually get 12 files and these are all the different views. Um, so there's six different styles of action and each one comes with a short sleeve and a long sleeve view. Uh, so if I these up here in my finder you can see we have 12 files here um, I'm gonna go ahead and open up the fifth one it's one of my more favorite ones and I'm gonna actually gonna open up both of them the long sleeve and short sleeve because there's slight differences between them and I'm gonna open them both up just so you guys can see um, but to open up these TIFF files just select them right click open with and Photoshop and you can see we got the short sleeve here and the long sleeve one here. Now for some of these, the sleeve smart objects will be separated. So in this case, this is all one smart object for the sleeve because it's one obvious design, but some of the other sleeve um, mockups or the long, some of the other long sleeve mockups have two separate smart objects for one sleeve. So for example, this one, if I open up my smart objects, you'll see there's a right upper and a right lower. So that's just something to keep in mind. Some of these smart objects are separated just to get the right angles and everything. Um, just so be aware of that. But for the most part, these are identical. Uh, the tops are only slightly different and the sock is slightly different. Um, but let's go ahead and show you how to use them. So first of all, let's open up the designs folder and open up the body design. You can see we can customize almost everything here. You got the sleeves, you got the inside of the shirt, you got the, the body, you got the shorts, right leg and left, you got the socks, right and left, and you even have the shoes here, right and left. Um, first things first though, let's open up the body and I'm gonna go ahead to the Template FC patterns pack. Uh, let's do the newest one, the 2020, 2021 part two. And the patterns pack comes in a PSD and an AI, but also there's this jersey section, uh, which shows off some of the designs in there. And if you open up the PSD, it actually has all the logos and stuff. And that's what I'm gonna open just to quickly show off how to use this. So you can see we have a bunch of jersey designs here, all looking pretty good. Uh, but the one I wanna do is the brand new Ajax kit. This is everyone's favorite, everyone loves this. So let's go ahead and drag this whole PSD into the smart object here. And we'll press Command T and adjust the size to fit the logos and everything. So let's go ahead and do that. And I think right there's pretty good. And I can hide everything else. Once we have that there, I'm gonna go ahead and get the colors from this. So I'm gonna click over here and get the dark background color, which is the dark blue. And I'm also gonna get the red here. Um, obviously, if you're designing a jersey or a concept jersey or putting your own design on here, this is where you would put it. You would have to actually do the design yourself, put the logos in here. Since I already had this pre-made, I made it a little easier for myself, but this is just to demonstrate how it works. So you'd put your design here, come back, and boom, there is the design. Now. Realize the neck or the Adidas stripes are kind of unnecessary here, so let's hide them and resave it. And there we go. Now we have our colors over here to the left, so we can open up our colors group here and start adding them to the different places. So the collar in this case is going to be white, and there is a neck trim. We can go ahead and make that red just um, so you guys can see it there. You can also hide it so it's not visible, but I'm gonna leave it there. The sleeves, we're gonna make the dark blue. And there's an extended sleeve option, so you could have normal sleeves or you could have the extended sleeves. I am gonna have the normal sleeves, so I'm just gonna hide the extended sleeves. Um, and then let's go, the back is also gonna be dark blue. The front, gonna be dark blue. Shorts, we'll do dark blue. I can't remember what the actual shorts are for this kit, but we'll go dark blue. We'll just go all dark blue here, and actually maybe we go with white shorts just to mix it up. And if I press Command-0, we zoom out to the full thing. And let's go to the next smart object, which is the right and left sleeve. So I'm gonna double click to open up the right, and double click to open up the left. 
You can see there is a group in here already with Adidas stripes, which already has the shoulder stripes for us. So let's go ahead, hide the logo and the grid, um, make the Adidas stripes visible, and let's go ahead. I'm actually going to come in here, select these three layers, and press Command E to merge them into one. Um, they're separated in case you want different colored um, stripes for each one, but if you want them all to be the same, you can merge them. Double click and add the color, which I believe is white. And then the trim here is actually going to be white. And if we duplicate it one time um, with Command J and then double click the bottom one and get red. Um, you can't see it, but if you click and drag over, you can bring it up so we have white and red. So let's save that and go back and that should be the left sleeve. Yeah, there we go. It's pretty much done. However, we do have to add our design to it. So let's go back to the body and grab the pattern here um, and go ahead and drag it over. Put it there, make sure it's below everything else. And since the sleeve is on this, since the sleeve is on its side, we got to rotate this 90 degrees and we'll put it like that. Let's go back over and cool. Um, it's actually looking a little too big, so maybe we come in here and make it slightly smaller just so it fits in a little bit better. And I think that that's pretty good. Let's go to the right sleeve now and do the same thing. Hide that, hide that, make the trim white, duplicate, make it red, drag that up, uh, bring up the Adidas stripes, merge them and make them white. And then let's go to the left sleeve, get the pattern, and this will be a little easier if we drag it in. Command T, right click, flip horizontal this time. Command S, save it, and it will update over here. Cool, there is the kit. That's looking pretty good. The top looks real nice. We could hide this neck trim here, but I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna close the left and right sleeve, and let's open up the shorts. So we got the right leg, and we have the left leg. So you'll notice we have the Nike swoosh here and we have our logo here, but we want the Ajax logo there and the Adidas logo over there. So let's go back to the body. Let's get the Ajax logo, bring it to the right leg and put it over our logo. I'm gonna press Command T and decrease the size slightly and hide the other logo. Let's go back to the body. Let's get the Adidas logo and bring it to the left leg, put it in there and again, make it slightly smaller. Now the shorts are white, so we don't want this logo to be white. So I'm actually gonna click the color overlay and let's go ahead and we'll do, we'll do the dark blue and let's save both of these. We do have to add the Adidas stripes on the side, but let's make sure this looks good. Yeah, perfect. Let's go back to the body design and I do have the Adidas stripes here. They do have the space, but we can use them for these side stripes. Let's drag it in, rotate it, and line it up with the stripe already here. Maybe something like that. Now I'm going to bring this out in the middle and then get rid of one of them. So let's select this top one and then come down here to the layer mask, click that, and now we only have the top one. And if we right click rasterize, then we have just this guy. Let's line it up, press command T and we're going to have to mess with this a little bit. Let's hold shift and drag it down. Cool. Hit enter command zero. Perfect. Uh, we do have to change the color of it. So let's double click color overlay. And this time we'll use red. Let's save that. Let's make sure that looks good. Yeah. And let's go ahead and drag that to the left leg then. Line it up with the stripe that's already there and then hide that stripe, save it. Perfect, so you can see how easy this is. You're just adding everything to the smart object and it puts it right in place for you on this mock-up. Um, finally, or not finally, it's actually the second to last one, but we have the socks. So let's open up both of those. Let's go to the left leg again actually and open that up and we're going to grab two things we're going to uh, uh we're 
we're going to grab the adidas stripes and the adidas logo and bring it to one of these socks let's hide everything else and put the logo here wherever it is there it is in the middle and then let's get the stripes command t rotate and put them at the top now i forget what color socks we have we got blue so the adidas logo let's make white so let's hide the color fill and the stripes we can leave as red um, and you can see those are a little too high they're getting cut off so let's go um, in there and bring down those stripes save them and that's a little better now you'll notice the left sock we don't actually see any of the front of the sock so when we go to that layer you'll see it's upside down and it's very minimum it's very minimal what we see so all we're going to need to do is grab the stripes and add them to the bottom which is actually the top so let's put them there save them and you can see that is the top of the sock uh, this might get a little wonky because the smart object has to adjust for a lot so maybe we move it up further to compensate and that should be pretty good i'm pretty happy with that let's go ahead and close out these um, smart objects and go to the shoes so first of all we didn't go to the shoes color yet if we open that up we can customize how the shoes look a little bit color wise so we'll just make them match the team so we'll make them red since that's iax's main color uh, we'll make the tongue white and then we'll make the shoelaces the blue we're using and then the bottom of the shoe we can also make white so those look cool um, if you come to the smart objects you can see we could hide them and just leave them as plain shoes so they don't take away from our jersey here but you can come in and add your own design whatever you'd like it to be um, maybe we hide this and just make it a cool pattern like let's get black or let's actually get white I'm gonna get a brush and and add some splatters to it so let me get this and just plop that there save it let's see what this looks like and boom there's a splatter on it so obviously you could recreate real cleats um, or whatever you'd want um, or you can just leave it blank that's usually what I do I don't like adding anything to the shoes because I don't want it to take away um, but you can see you can customize everything and it's like that for all 12 mock-ups and you get this great action pose uh, which people really love and it just looks really cool. It's a lot more interesting than a basic Jersey standing there straight up or whatever um, But anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed if you did leave a like on the video subscribe to our channel for more tutorials on our various mock-ups and things Check out our website for all our mock-ups and patterns We have some free ones and of course we have some premium ones follow our Instagram template fc and our twitter template fc we're always posting concept jerseys there which you can use as inspiration um, we also post the occasional deal if you want to subscribe to our newsletter you can do that on our website as well anyways thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in the next one peace